Hello, fillies and gentle cults. We're going to be playing Sunless Sea again today here on Roguelike, the stream where I play roguelike games. I think I might have called the stream Roguelike. It's called Rogue Life. You only live once because taglines are important. Uh, we're uh, playing through Sunless Sea again. Captain Penny is still alive inexplicably, despite like barely, barely living through last week. So, uh,. Let's, uh, let's get to it. We can do all the show business while I'm driving around the dark and hideous sea that will definitely claim my life. This time we produce loading screens because I wanted the music running while everyone was waiting to join us. The giant queue of people that wait for the stream every morning while I'm doing the sound test. Um, I don't know why I've got e evil British man voice, but uh, nonetheless, that's that's what we've got today. Uh, oh yeah, I was leveling up with the campaigner when we left off. Okay. So yesterday was Memorial Day, which is the day that I forget things, like that it was Monday. And so this is Tuesday, and I'm considerably less prepared than usual. So uh, it's good times. Uh, if I understand right, we should be all set. I've got a bit of hull damage, I've got... No food. And I'm not broke. So let's buy ourselves a bunch of food. Oh. It didn't save after I bought all those flares. Uh, unless I happen to have a bunch of flares for some reason. Because I thought the flares counted as cargo. Well, let's go check the shops real quick. Flare, I ain't got none. So, uh, and Foxfire Candles. Uh, shoot, which one did I want to, like, have a bunch of? Uh, let's grab, like, six Foxfire Candles. They will appear in the hold. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves a bunch of supplies. Minimum of ten. Uh, I've only got five cargo left. I think I'm going to get two flares. Uh, wow, will ten supplies be enough? Maybe. Do that. Another Foxfire candle. Okay, now I'm completely broke. Uh, let's make certain that uh, I've done everything with the Alarming Scholar. Uh, I've already done any romancing that I could possibly do. Uh, how am I doing on crew? Doing fine. Uh, I've done all the leveling up that I can. Yes. Alright, folks, so here's the plan for today. We are going out to, uh... Let's check the map real quick so that I can name things correctly. We are going to go out and we're going to check out Godfall and Polythreme. And we're going to try to get to the bottom of this. So, uh... That's a long way away. I still don't know where the Empire of Hands is, and that's what I set out to do. Sorry, we're not going to Polythreme. We're going to Nuncio, though I might go to Polythreme to get some fucking money. Um, so, uh, let's do this. How did I manage that? How do I have an unexplored territory in the middle of this? Uh, well, regardless, let's go. Hmm? I just tried to leave. An unexpected letter. Who sent it, and what does it say? Your sweetheart. Your sweetheart. You. Return to London as soon as you may, your sweetheart says. You are a father. A surprise for you, Irina. I have taken in a foundling. You, when I return to London, I will bring an, un an additional recruit. Choose this option if you're giving birth to a child. Uh... Uh, 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 yeah, sure, why not? Your infant is born at sea. You have to take, you take it to your cabin for a much shorter period than the ship's doctor would like. You are walking long, you are walking long before you should, but you have a ship to run. Oh my goodness. Do I remember right that I can, like, honk the horn on this thing? 
Oh. I have literally never paused the game before. That's a really cool effect. On we go! We're heading east. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what a weekend. Uh, I highly recommend uh, having three-day weekends whenever you can. I realize that I work from home and therefore can kind of do as I like. Um, but regardless, uh, it's good times. Uh, I actually took the opportunity to... Uh, we've recorded another episode of Pile of Shame. Uh, so we should actually be starting up our... Uh, our Pile of Shame monthly special in uh, on short notice. Uh, additionally, oh god, it's the, the zeal port. Uh, if I have the money, I should come back here and buy the things. Um, it's actually pretty uh, nuts. I finally took the time to play Gone Home, uh, which you might expect as somebody who likes this game and its narrative vent that I might uh, be really, really in love with Gone Home. Uh, I really like when people do things with the video game medium that uh, just really can't be done with other mediums. And it's kind of weird because uh, a lot of people have a big hate on for it. Despite that, oh god damn it, everything's bad. That's a pirate frigate. Um, fuck it. Um... Okay, it's not attacking, because I did full speed ahead. I wonder how long I can keep at this. Okay, there we go. We're back to, to regular speed. Sound the all clear. Um. A lot of people have talked about it being gone home being a tough game to to call a game uh you know they, they've picked on it for being so narratively driven um a lot of people picked on it for its progressive tones but i mean fuck you uh i don't really care about you if you're not if you're listening to the stream and you're not a big fan of i don't know gay people having rights uh get the fuck off my stream it's been nice knowing you um but it's it's weird because like uh People have compared it to a visual novel. There's not really a branching storyline in there, although there are mysteries you can miss out on, like uh, what the hell is up with your dad? Uh, what was his whole history? Um, but it's interesting to me because... If it were a television show, Gone Home would probably be presented as a police procedural. Um, you would have characters discovering the things and talking about them. Um, and, and drawing conclusions and having some sort of dumb conflict about it. Um, and it's odd to me because because they've chosen the medium of video games, you are those investigators. Like, I got very uh, invested in the game, definitely started referring to Jan and Terrence as my dad and Sam as my sister um, when I was narrating the game back to my wife, who was uh, over playing uh, Long Live the Queen. Uh, and that's... The fact that you're in that perspective character's shoes, and that it gets you to be invested in that, there's an action in that that can't be described in a novel, that can't be described in a movie. Like, there have been first-person movies, those have not gone well. Um, it's... or found footage. Like, all of those things are... Uh, I'm just here to compile a port report, don't mind me. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here I would even want. Uh, and it's interesting because I think they chose the perfect medium for it, which is the, the interactive digital media, uh, video games, if you will. Uh, you can't accomplish what they accomplished without um, really being in control. I found it funny, like, I knew from the start I'd been told and, and was familiar enough with the game... Uh, you know, because it came out ages ago, um, that nothing horrible 
could jump out and get me. Nothing bad was going to happen to my character, but I was fearful of the dark regardless. I am fearful of the dark in real life. Um, oh, I've got to go up to Nuncio. Uh, why don't I just go straight south to God's Fall? I've never done God's Fall. I know what happens at Nuncio. It's the reason I... What the hell is that? Uh, anyway, I think it was a, a very sound choice. I'll probably go back to talking about it a great deal. It's going to totally come up on the podcast. Uh... Which gives you a pretty good idea of like how out of sync we actually record Pile of Shame, but we're trying to do it better this time than last time. Um, take a sip. Alright. Sometimes, just occasionally, bits of the roof fall off. Be glad you weren't here when this one did. The brawling bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to st Saint Stalactite which fell from the roof, but their chief interest seems to be wine, blood, and shouting. Uh, tell them, let them tell you about past and present events in the monastery. I've got a port report. Now, how many of these? I'm supposed to take five Foxfire candles. Uncovering mysteries of the Shattered Citadel. Let's do it. Before the stalactite was a monastery, before it ever fell from the roof, it was a citadel. The fall shattered it and killed all its occupants, probably. Why don't you take a look? Through the cellars. The monks have blocked the tunnels into the citadel. The starved men live there. One says vaguely, They're all dead, of course, but you still wouldn't want to meet them. Still, there's a gap in the cellar wall that they keep meaning to fix. You've moved to a new area. Oh my. All the neath is dark. The citadel is dark as only a once bright place can be. It hung up there among the false stars drowned in azure light for how long? Now it's here. So are you. Very bad things will happen if you run out of candles. Leave. There's a wall crack that leads to the monastery cellar. Unlocked with crew one. And venturing into the thingamajig. Go deeper. The citadel, this is going to be mirrors, which I'm not terrible at. The citadel lies on its side, all its halls and tunnels lit craz tilt crazily. Edge your way through like an ant through a broken puzzle box. Onwards, you found a way deeper into the citadel. Silence. Silence. You are in the second tangle of tunnels. I've lost a candle. Oh wow, I need to bring a lot of them. Fight off winged things! Uh, it's as if the walls shed its skin. Suddenly they're on you, everywhere. The air roars. They fill your mouth, eyes, nose. Press on through. Forge on. Your bosun's, bosun grasps your shoulder. Each zailer grasps the next. Bow your heads and push forward. I succeeded in an irons challenge. That's unlikely. Uh, I'm gonna blow another candle to go deeper, and then I really can't go very far. Go back. This isn't where you meant to be. You've gone no deeper. But what's this? A black-jawed beast. Mandibles slide wetly from the wall. 92% chance of success. Sure, I don't have a choice. A hollow snap. You had your eye on the curious projection. You push a zailer to the ground as the jaws close futilely overhead. Alright, I will do one more and then I will retrace my steps. Wait. Go back. This isn't where you meant to be. You've gone no deeper, but what's this? Horror's walk. Blackjawed beast. Hollow snap, because I'm good at things. Uh, I am... I have four... I gotta retrace my chat steps. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Closer to safety. Alright. Uh, I need to come back here with more mirrors and lots more candles. Time to leave. Ugh. Well, that wasn't very exciting. Uh, I mean, it was exciting for me because I thought that I might die, but I'm certain that you, the viewer, uh, are disappointed in how that went. Let's go pick up some hollow men. That's not right. 
some claymen, and then let's go down to Nencio. Up to... Huh? Oh, okay, it's so that boat. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. God, I fucking love the, the clay men faces in the ocean because it's alive. I don't think there's any danger in driving over these things. I was afraid at first that this was like, oh, get on this and die, uh, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, burnt through. Damn, I mean, I don't have enough candles to do Nuncio now. Um, if that's the case, I'm just going to explore a bunch. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, carry Clayman to London. Gather intelligence. What news from Polythreme? I've got a port report. It's the same. Uh, I need watchful curios to meet the, the king. Uh, do they have shops here? I thought so. Uh, I'm broke. So. Uh, let's go. What is the Gantt pole? What's that? Chelenite? Uh, is there a giant, uh, skeleton underwater? find a dock. Discovered the Chalonade. Scable port. Oh, okay. This is fine. A shell as big as a wild dream. The Chalonade. Waves lap the slap... Waves lap the slabby sides of a vast turtle shell, bigger than any cathedral. Chelonites loaf on wooden docks around the shell sides, staring sullenly. Lamps hang like decorations in a festive butcher's window. All around you the sea is rank with scraps of ancient flesh. Shore leave at the Chelonite. Uh, that seems to be bad. Obtain the doomed monster hunter if I have a captivating tre Trevor. How does one express this very striking smell? No matter what details you try to record, the stench creeps in around the edges of the, sen of the sentences. The Chelonites, watchful despite the reek, movement among the miasmic scraps of a long-abandoned monster carcass, frequent duels where the stink is thickest. What's this thing? Someone is crying unusual wares. Follow the sound. The Scrimshaw Chronicler. A scrawny man squats beneath an awning of gant-colored whale skin. Bring me your tails, he cries. Tails for the bone. Bring him a tail. I need some things. Where am I going to find? Uh, Z stories I've picked up before, but where am I going to find the, the grim trophies? Whatever these are called. Hunting trophies. All right, another shops the Chelinet. Nothing I can buy. Whoa. 
In the depths of the mountain lay a great egg of smooth gold. Once every hour, it pulses the slow, deadly life. Mount Nomad's Heart. Next time I get a searing enigma, this is the place to be. Um, Stygian Ivory. I should also buy some of this next time. I, oh. The black bones of Z-monsters make for startling corsets. Okay, everybody, remember that this cost me 26 echoes. This is nuts. The Enter Z is really neat. Somebody get on the line with Fail Better Games and just tell them thanks. There's a wild and glorious scent in the air, a kind of light. Why do sailors fear this place? Zark Abyss. Estival is a north way to the northwest. Oh, right. I've come across Estival before, actually, um, in my previous playthrough. Um, it's odd to call it a playthrough since I didn't really make it very far. The sandbar is going to be a problem. The crawling stars. The lookout shouts. Far above, far above the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting, a rare and ominous event. What now? Record the change and assign a name. Bat! The Z-Bat! Bats is luck! A gap-toothed stoker avers. All agree. Leathery, but lucky. I need that, because I'm actually probably gaining a lot of terror on this trip. Uh, and that's essentially the difficulty modifier of the game. Well, this is pretty. And nice. Must be nice here in Estival, right? Huh. I see you. Is that Nuncio's lighthouse that's hitting me? Sun. A giant beam of sunlight bathes the island. Squint into the dazzle far above, and there's a hole in the roof. In that light you see beaches of white gold sand, trees heavy with bright fruit, fruit, the reds and blues and greens of the surface. Investigate the ruins. There is some sort of installation here, but what looks like a handsome country house. Who is here, and what happened to them? Red bird singing. A garden overgrowth with berry bushes, overgrown with berry bushes, a wooden trestle table set for a meal, chairs strewn with bones, a half dozen skeletons, a red-breasted bird perches on a grinning crani cranium. It cocks an eye at you and bursts into song, a liquid, thrilling sound. It seems unperturbed as you approach to poke through the bones. No signs of violence, no fire, no bullets, no bites. These people died peacefully, sitting down to breakfast, as the surface... Sunlight spilled over them. Sunlight can kill at any time. The longer you remain here, the more danger you are in. So, why did they stay? Perhaps they stayed because Estival is beautiful as anywhere in the Neath, and ten times as generous. It's a fine place for a colony. You could found your own pocket kingdom if you could do something about the sun. But what? What, was po what has power over sunlight? What makes the impossible possible? To found a colony, bring something to Estival that can protect against sunlight. Compile a port report. Your eyes water. The pages blur. The report is one joy-filled complaint. Estival has a beauty too bright to be appreciated, but perhaps the Admiralty can find something of use. Gather supplies or go beach coming. Well, let's get some supplies. 
Wow, I got ten supplies. Breadfruit, sugarcane, coconut, soft-shelled crabs, and plump birds too stupid to know a hungry sailor from a tree. Estival is ripe with treasures unknown to the neath. Fill your hold. Uh. uh do I dare? I only have ten fuel. Off to Nuncio. Oh, there's that lighthouse. Hmm? What? What is it? Nuncio? Did I miss it? No. What the hell is this? Oh, it is. It's just the northeast side of it. Okay, now we get to remember whether I have enough Foxfire candles to fucking... Ugh. I'm worried that I burned them all doing, uh... Doing my trip. My fruitless trip into the cathedral. Which I need to be better prepared for next time. Assemble a port report. I'm going to do uh, explore along the beach. Oh, well, this is interesting. Rescue a squashy parcel. A funny smell, and little wonder the string of rats within may once have been fresh and, to certain tastes, delectable. It is rather the worse for decay, giving the parcel's contents a hasty burial is the best you can hope to do. Just before you dispose of it, though, one note the recipient's name and address, a name of some power worth remembering. Uh, I'm going to take soundings. Striking the ground causes the stones to shift. The next wave brings ashore three or four times the usual freight. Huh. Do some shift work at the red dead letter office. Damn it. Damn it. It takes five to do it safely. Uh, because you can totally do it not with the five. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Uh, converse with the postal rat. Uh, feed your undeliverables. Uh, man. Man. Well, uh, let's see. We've probably got time to actually go back and come back with five Foxfire candles. Uh, and what's in my hold right now? Uh, plenty of supplies. Uh, not much fuel. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best I got. I can try to go north a little bit. Uh, actually, if I just go west, I can compile some port reports, get plenty of fuel, do this right. Try to get a port report of all the places that I can. 
See if that'll curry some favor with the Admiralty. And come back to Nuncio. I haven't had a really good time of uh, actually uh, succeeding in what I set out to. Uh, last time it was find the uh, Empire of Hands or die trying, and instead I found Nuncio and got distracted. And then I've ruined everything by not actually succeeding at, 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 at Nuncio. Port report, we've already seen this stuff. It kind of stinks, you have to do a lot of stuff to uh, actually gain access to uh, useful parts of Khan's glory. Um, can I, do I have intelligence to give them right now? I could save that for finding the sisters. Um, yeah, let me see if I can drop by the sisters on my way out and see if they uh, are ready to progress their plotline. Not entirely certain what it takes to do that. Also, I'm going to have a baby when I get back home, and that's going to be fun. Um. My Vils is not high enough to gather a port, port report. I'm gonna wander Khan's heart. I've lost two Terra. I'm really surprised that worked out well. Eyes everywhere. They spotted me. I failed to compile a port report. Let's get out of here. I am a spy. This is what I do. I'm just a terrible spy. Someday I will get a port report of Khan's glory, but in the meantime, I can't. Uh, so let's just get out of here. Eventually they will come to kill me. I can drop by Gator's Morn. Everything will be fine. How we're doing on Terror? Awful. Hmm? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Time to explore the morn. Oh, interesting. Your sweetheart. An ocean of darkness lies between them and your sweetheart, but you remember them still. Brighter hours. Huh. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. Significant terror. That's nice. dislike of spies. You and one of your more villainous looking Zaylers join a dice game. Villainous looking, but you know for a fact that she tithes to charity and has a delightful singing voice. The topic turns promisingly to pillage and ambush, but your Zaylor is a little too forward with their question. There is a scuffle and a stabbing. You escape. She does not. I've lost a crew, but I have gained a port report. Uh, Gator's Morn is rough. Rough.
port reports are basically what allows me to keep sailing. 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 Oh, damn it. No, don't actually... Bonk. Yeah, do that to an island. Take a lot of damage, actually. We'll uh, drop by the funging station. Jesus, H, Mary, and Joseph. I have only four fuel left. Uh, actually, uh, we're not even going to stop by the funding station. Everything, no, please don't. That's a, that's a dangerous, dangerous ship. I cannot burn another fuel to escape, which is what I've been doing to avoid fights with these big, tough, mean ships. Oh, God, no. Oh. I mean, that's all right. Oh, this guy gives me supplies, but doesn't give me fuel. Let's have tea with the factor. Gain supplies, not fuel. I've been told of an exceptionally fun restaurant in Venderbite, which I should go to. That's right, I forgot about that. Uh, compile a port report. Gained terror and supplies. I'll buy two fuel. Got plenty of food, though. I wonder if that always happens at Estable. If I can get 10 food every time I go there, then I may have actually found a pretty decent uh, track to follow for a couple of uh, a couple of shipping outs. Expeditions? Let's call them expeditions. I refer to things in games as expeditions all the time. It's actually a whole problem with me as a designer. I just like the term, apparently. Maybe I'll say adventures, or, uh, uh, risky ventures? That's, I mean, it even has adventure in it. Uh. What am I doing on terror? Oh, doing great, because I keep stopping by and having pleasant conversations with people in this horrible hellscape. Visit the cellar. I need a Z story. Oh. The mechanic says, We will need, the mechanic tells the sisters, to visit your sub cellar. Oh, that nasty place? The Lucy Lucy says airily, a little hastily. Yes, we'll take you down there, she smiles, but we'll need stories. Something alarming for Cynthia, a Z story for Phoebe, and a tale of a distant place for me. Um, I need to get a Z story. And empty mirror catch box. I wonder if I can pick that up. Does it actually say? That'd be really nice. Let's do Cynthia. I've lost hunger. I've gotten Salt's attention. I've gained an iron, a tale of terror. I've gained some terror. I've gained some supplies. Uh, 
Let's reconnoiter the island. And let's do news news. And then let's talk to Lucy this time. All right. You're acquainted with the sisters, but something has changed. We can do this. Just get back to London. Use all of these delightful supplies to fund another trip out into the Neath. Bring some Foxfire Candles this time, and five minimum for Nuncio, and it takes another five to really go into the Cathedral. Um, but it would take, honestly, a lot more than that. Like, I need to, if I'm going to do the Cathedral, I'll probably need to bring ten of them, which is fully a quarter of my entire uh, tank of supplies. So, uh, that'll be tough. Um, let's go home and uh, have a baby! New arrival. You can't raise a child in a room above a pub. Well, people do, but your sweetheart expects better. Uh, what does it take? A thousand echo. Well. Uh, let's go to the shops, and let's see if anyone is buying that thing I picked up. Uh, it's the Caminus Yards. Iron of Misery. Wolfstack Exchange. What was the thing I picked up? I have Stygian Ivory. Uh... You want Stygian Ivory? Oh, great. I can gain four off of that, in or two off of that entire endeavor. <sighs> Maybe there's somebody that buys Stygian Ivory for a bunch, or who needs it. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's go submit port reports. I've been to Demos Gate. Uh, that's good for fuel, which is great, because I need that. Uh, Gators Mourn, which is good for fuel. This doesn't actually change my Admiralty's favor to visit these places I've visited before. Um, if I... Deliver some claim in, which is good for some money. Uh, essentially free money. Uh, Rose Market, do you want anything I have? Centilac, of course. Um, let us get... What does this require? Let's do this. I got three fuel. I'm going to get three fuel again. Uh, now it's locked. So let's see if I can uh, submit port reports and gain favor back. Uh-huh. <laughs> So I am, I am full on stuff, uh, which is great in its own way. Uh, I wish I hadn't gotten that fuel, I guess. Uh, fuck it, whatever. Uh, so these are all going to earn me fuel. Uh, let's go back to the shops and sell the Stygian Ivory. I know where I can buy it now. 
Uh, and I can sell the cask of mushroom wine because I'm not using it. Uh, let's go and load up at the Admiralty uh, because I should always submit all of the port reports. Uh, I surveyed Khan's shadow and wisdom. So now I've got loads of fuel. My ship is full. I have 508 currency. Uh, if I come back with a thousand, I can build a house for my child. Um, London, the most fabulous city. Uh, I want to actually see... Uh, where's my lodgings? Uh, no new recruit. Why? Because I don't have another day. Let's go speak to my child. Oh. Uh, I'm going to read the morning papers. Damn it! Okay, I'm carrying so much of this stuff that I can't even take two more Foxfire candles uh, to go exploring. So I figure what I should do I mean, Estival was real great, and going to Polythreme is wonderful. I could go to Polythreme and then go south. Um, and I've got enough to pick up stuff from the salt lines on my way back. Uh, yeah, I could go south uh, and try to find out what's south of Godfall. Um, I'm just going to go straight east. All right, guys, this is a, this should be a quick jaunt. Although I'm actually going to speak to her real quick. How many of these do I have got to? I got two level ups because that's how this game works. Oh god, we hit the letters! No! Everyone's being knocked overboard! No, not the apostrophe! Ah! Look, sometimes you're just a child. And that's that's the way it is. What's funny is I need a better place to live so that I can leave it to my child in my will and start off with a bit of an advantage during the next game. Uh, and that takes some doing. Uh, but I think I can earn a thousand echoes, actually. Um, by going, getting the clay men, uh, going to Zealport, um, picking up stuff. I can't pick it up now because my hold's full. Um, it would basically derail this whole trip. Um, No. I don't even know what that is. It's not something I can beat. It's firing. It will get tired of this chase.
It's like playing Eve. Man, he is really going for it. How far has this guy chased me? weird. This looks like an island chain. I'm just really surprised I'm not finding a port nearby. Blood in the wind. I don't want to go too far south. I'm just hoping to find something while I'm out here. I guess I'll go up to Wisdom real quick. Yeah, I should. Because the every port report is always fuel! Actually, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if they get sick of hearing about places from time to time. Um, because that would be... That'd be balls. That doesn't sound like a very good decision. Um, there's so much craft and artistry in this game, uh, and just sometimes it fills me with doubt that, like, some dumb mistake got made. Um, but I think the economy of letting you continue to travel is a whole thing. Also, I mean, eventually my terror is going to overtake me, and I will need to either go to the surface again or uh, find my lover and hang out with her because I think that helps although I may not be able to do that now that I have a kid which is really quite a statement um, but I can still think of my lover like in Gators Morn for example and, and relax la 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 I'm compiling a port report I don't know what your special prisoner is so I can't rescue them bye let's go meet the nonsensical monks again Man, it costs so much fuel. It takes all of my fuel just to get out here. Um. I can do this. I can do this. I should come with 20 fuel. Jeez. I'm really glad that it pauses when you, like, look at the map, but I also wish, kind of, that it didn't. Uh, did I miss Godsfall? No, no. There it is. Hey, Godsfall. What's going on? Godfall? Hmm, whatever. Spooky, real good. What? No. God, you're right there. 160. I really just can't fight that. Am I going to have to burn a fuel? If I burn a fuel, I'm not making it back home.
what news from Polythreme? Carry claim in, because I've burned through that much supplies. Uh, shore leave gives you terror, but costs a bunch of money, and I'm uh, skin flint right now. Uh, and I don't have a watchful curio. So, let's just see if this guy will leave us alone. Let's do this. Let's turn off the lights for silent running. Okay, damn, he's like right in the way. I hope the bat doesn't fucking warn him. Lights back on. We approach the Empire of Hands. Let us clasp our souls tight, lest the Pentecost apes take them from us. Oh, okay. Where is your port? Straight south. Well, the Admiral will be happy. Discovered the Empire of Hands. Watch it be like on the other side of the island. Matters, because it feels like a whole thing. Got nine fuel. I can only barely make it back, I don't think. Oh. Well, that's interesting. It's like Ze Zeppelin? A zeppelin. A stern reminder from the Admiralty. In the name I'm oh, sorry. In the name and by the power of her enduring majesty, a trade embargo and quarantine in absolute perpetuity has hereby been declared on the Empire of Hands. No ship of London is permitted aboard a Pentecost ape without without express and prior permission of the Admiralty. Any and all acts of spirophage are prohibited. They know what they did. Beware of stowaways. Keep a tight grip on your soul. Excerpt from the Net standard naval regulations. The flea-ridden mayor. With the regulations in mind, it is, it is a surprise to be greeted by a mere itchy monkey in a tattered yellow robe, barely walking with the help of a ceremonial staff. An official greeting. Hello, cries the mayor in the broken voice of one not used to human speech. Come, make selves at home. All souls welcome in bountiful empire of hands. The crew shifts uncomfortably. They know the stories. It will take more than the natural beauty of this place to take to make most of them risk shore leave here. Hmm. Port Stanton. Soul hungry monkeys reluctantly tent to this trading post, waiting for an opportunity to escape. Bloated fleas hop from ape to man and man to ape, gorging themselves without a care for which is which. Shore leave. An audience with the flea ridden mare. Gather strategic information for the Admiralty. Words on the wind. The barely sold monkeys of Port Stanton mutter together in a dozen bastardized dialects. Invented stories, gossip 20 years old, intimate revelations from the scraps of subconscious knowledge to it that adhere to souls. The effect of a sampling... The effect is of sampling rich, fascinating stew that might just possibly contain rat droppings. The Admiral would regard this mission as a failure, but others might be interested. I've gained a Z story and a, and a snippet. 
I'm going to talk to the flea-ridden mayor. He's not busy. No appointments are required. The flea-ridden mayor scratches himself on a chair made of crates, surrounded by boxes of long-rotten trade goods. As a five-souled ape, he would be able to petition for membership of court. For now, the trade embargo has left him trapped on the outside, a three-souled overseer with no talent for order. Ugh. The Mayor's Shack In better times, being overseer of Port Stanton gave the incumbent their pick of visitors to the Empire. Now it is a thankless task to any to be found in the Neath. Uh, they will pay me 200 echoes for my soul. Mm, no. Oddly, little of the Empire of Hand's natural beauty is edible. The, the monkeys will help you find the edible stuff for a fee. 20 echoes for supplies. Acquire emergency fuel. Fuel? Got fuel. The flea-ridden mayor nods quickly. Not cheap, not free. Can be arranged. London money, okay. Put on table. Look on docks, yes. 40 echoes per barrel. Hmm. I can sell my souls for a fucking not enough. Uh, I can acquire fresh supplies. I've got plenty. Uh, that's really expensive for fuel. I'll pass, thanks. Outside, a crowd of monkeys that has absolutely not been listening in scampers away. Interesting. Comprehensive. Port court report. Scouting the Sovereign Island. Many boats circle the island, all keeping their distance. The one that gets closest is an, is an extended rowboat painted in yellows, whites, and reds. Four servant monkeys strain at the oars, while its true passenger sits in comfort among behind a gauze curtain. Just for a moment an eye catches yours, but only for a moment. It would not do for a high-souled ape to see something so beneath its notice. Sovereign Island. Today the sprawling palace is called the Wild Wheeled Court. Tomorrow, who knows? The world of the Pentecost apes is one of cruel whimsy, where stolen traditions last only as long as their amusement. Gain access to the court. Unlock the gift for the monkey emperor. The guards stare as you row away. It will take some effort to ingratiate yourself here. Perhaps you could find something on one of the other islands. All right, folks, I think we're actually going to have to call it here at the Empire of Hands. Uh, we've got a bunch of exploring to do. Uh, we've finally gotten here after all this time. We probably have enough fuel to get back. Um, but uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, so let's uh, pause the game. Uh, let's get me over to my broadcast. Big faces. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please go to Patreon and check out our Crooked Thimble page, and uh, please support us there. We're making good things. Uh, we've got a game inside the pipe that we actually worked on this weekend, which is saying something because it's been very difficult to find the time, what with trying to publish a novel and all of that. Uh, we're probably going to do some sort of announcement on Patreon in the next month or so. That's my guess. Uh, so we can talk about that with people who support us. Uh... I'll try to set up something special for that uh, when it comes around. Uh, other than that, it's uh, it's been good times. Uh, go, please like this video when it is uploaded. Subscribe. Check out the www. Just check out crookedthimble.com and uh, see what the latest stuff we're working on has been. Uh, and that's it. Uh, it's been great seeing you guys. On Thursday, we're going to continue with the Empire of Hands and then just see what happens. All right. Peace out.